Welcome to the Safety Third Podcast. I'm a host. Oh, God. Nope, can't start over. Uh, today we have a very special episode. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does, now, does this still scare you? I don't like it. I Wait, I what do you mean you don't like it? It's a lizard now. It's I not even the a... start of every podcast. Oh, he's also very he's twitchy. Just like, yeah. It's like someone poured gasoline on an, on an anthill and lit it on fire. It's, it's just like one. every I time. I don't like it. Oh, thanks for joining us, Alan. Hi, yeah, hello. Work? Is she more scared of this thing? She yeah. doesn't I'm like this one either. Creepier. You think it's worse now that it has legs. This is a very special episode because we have a very special guest, one of the most famous people on YouTube, Dax Flame. Thanks for having. Thanks for having me. Round of applause. Yes. <laughs> and a movie star. <laughs> and nice. a philanthropist billionaire. Yes. No. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know how I got that in my head that you were a billionaire. Is that not? No. <laughs> Uh, I wish. Uh, <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nigel, Will, and Alan. Yes. And Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea's kind of off yeah, to that. She's the, like, she... what, what do you call that role on a, like a n- night show? Oh, what the, uh, the Andy Richter? Yeah, like the sort of sidekick who just like randomly appears. Who jumps in and out of frame like a monkey. Like Guillermo. <laughs> From. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sidekick, I guess. Or yeah, co-host. co-host. So on a total side note, I feel bad for Audrey. I don't like this seat. Oh. With no backing, it's just so. Oh like, wow! Wow! Yeah, so good just posture, like, huh? Maybe good a... posture will help your horrible digestive system. <laughs> yeah. It'll help the nuggies go through. I've no, got some Pepto. You want some Pepto? I don't need Pepto. Okay. I have Why half, are you guys just telling me? I, have I haven't said PCP anything. Because <laughs> your stomach always hurts, <laughs> Nigel. You want some PCP? <laughs> yes, that would definitely help. <laughs> I'm literally just sitting here complaining about the backing of the seat. Like, do you want Pepto? Uh, uh, five milligrams of sativa is that better <laughs> this is a science podcast what's people's favorite part of this podcast what do people say that they love uh, they, i can't uh, imagine <laughs> uh, i think they our only... producer over there is just laughing he's laughing <laughs> they Ian only Doki. say bad things well what, uh, the quote i liked the best was it's this Nigel. yeah, yeah. they said it was bad but if it got better it would be worse <laughs> 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 what's your favorite comment you've what ever seen or what do you think that what's a comment you hope to get on this video on this one in particular we mostly hope not to get comments what certain you, ones what was the one you shared where did, there was one someone left a comment on the podcast that we recorded with tom scott oh where it was like it's like seeing your uh your like high school teacher at a strip club yeah. or something like that <laughs> seeing, seeing tom scott on this podcast is like seeing your teacher at a strip club yeah, he, was, uh, wow, you nailed it. He's this. like another science guy, but he's like actually good and well Does he always have red on the su- side of his thumbnail? He always wears a red shirt. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. he's really good. Yeah. yeah. I like him. So he was here for some reason. Um, and so cool. Yeah, was people he... compared it to seeing your teacher at a strip club, and I think that means that we're, we're the, the strip, strip club. club. Yeah. Oh, no, Tom Scott was the strip club. Oh, we're the teachers, yeah. and he's the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like, have him like do any, like, just wild stuff or just we like would love to but he would definitely have not agreed to anything yeah. wild. i said ah! twice and he said if i said it a third time he would get up and leave i, think so did I didn't say it a third time no i don't think i did because then i didn't want him to leave <laughs> <laughs> he probably would have too yeah, he would have actually gotten up and left does that make you want to leave when he says ah! no i don't really nice. uh know what ah! That's, 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 he's that's he's a like a thing. no 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 no. I, want, I don't know why I encourage this behavior. <laughs> okay. okay. I, think, I think from this point on, uh, to the editor, every time anyone ever says it needs to be deleted, even if it makes the, the edit means no. no oh, I logical. thought it just, just no, just cut that yeah. word out so it just skips. I thought just... that you were gonna ask for a counter, so that like <laughs> like a rolling cut of the entire series every okay, time well, maybe it ups one. We can't cut it up, but it has to be some noise over it. What kind of noise can we put over it? You make the noise. And Okay. Um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <He> just, ah! <laughs> I don't like that. Let's, let's, let's test it out. Let's test it out. Ah! <laughs> you say it now. No. I've already, I've already said it once. I've already said it once, and that was too many times. Ah! Ah! <laughs> You're bullying the guests. <laughs> Yeah, Trust that's the, that's how this works. What's uh, what's like? Do you want people to take away from watching your podcast? Like, what's the experience you want them to have? I 
This, this is more thought very, than no, anyone has ever put very into meta this podcast. podcast. <laughs> we're all just... No, I like it because this is not. The, I have literally never thought about any of these things. I feel like we're being interviewed about our podcast. I like on it. Our podcast. I think it's, it's, I like, fine, it's interesting. Finally, someone calls us on our our disorganized <laughs> shit. <laughs> so just like a fun time. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> he just, sorry. Why? He, just, he just he decrypted what we said. <laughs> no, he decrypted actually, it. I they, feel like we're getting some kind of weird media therapy right now. <laughs> we need it. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing usually ever. <laughs> Me neither. It's good to learn. So I'm trying to trying to learn from y'all. We just start. The words just come out of our mouth. Cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, that's how we just show up. So what are we, what, yeah. what was your question? What are we trying to do with this podcast? Yeah. What do you, if someone is sitting and watching, what do you want them to take away today? I guess These maybe just questions. to feel like, like they're, they're just chilling with us, just hanging out with some wacky dudes. <laughs> wacky is such a nice way of putting it. Wacky, zany. <laughs> zany. <laughs> some zany characters. I think, I think that, uh. I used to think kind of Twitch. I didn't, I didn't really understand Twitch. And I didn't really understand podcasts. And then I remember that I used to I used to drive a lot from hmm. home to school and to work. And, you know, it was like a wow. pretty long drive. And I would listen to uh, a radio station in the morning. And for a couple hours early from like six to nine or whatever, they mm -hmm. would do like a little talk show. And they would talk about just like nothing. Like mm -hmm. what they did that weekend, like, oh yeah, you know, we had kids' birthday parties. Mm -hmm. wow. And it's like, I didn't give a shit about any of these people, but like, that's mm -hmm. what I chose to listen to. <laughs> right. Because I was stuck in a car and I was like, oh, I think I get it. It's kind of like just a little bit of something for when you have like nothing else going on. Like, let's say you're working and it's kind of, you know, you're just doing work. Mm -hmm. It's like in the background, you can have. Fun, like just teach yeah. you to have fun. Exactly, you can kind of like I listen casually. Yeah, you know, like Chelsea listens to podcasts and oh, stuff when I she's like cleaning, and I like listening to podcasts when I'm cleaning or when I'm cooking or if I'm like doing kind of like mindless work because it mm. just makes it feel like someone's there and the time goes by faster. Yeah. So I will. Listen. Cool. So I think oh, that awesome. that's like sort of the the baseline would wow. be just you know providing like a little bit of a distraction for like boring things cool. like you know driving or i don't know maybe just existing because sometimes but it's like it's like mm -hmm. uh, i feel like it's not yeah and it's like a low level distraction that's yeah. not like like I, you said you did it when you drove yeah when you i my office was like 40 minutes away i just listened to podcasts mm -hmm. all the time mm. you should make the bleep button a car horn honking. <laughs> 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 or like pol police siren yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate just in music when people do I that. <laughs> you hear a siren, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> this should not be allowed. I always turn the music down because it's like, wait. And Kevin in his truck has like a little sticker mm. that reflects blue. It like <laughs> makes blue and red lights. Yeah. So in a song, it came on. I heard like a siren. And I, I look up and I see the light. And like, we're getting pulled over. <laughs> I did get pulled over. We got pulled over. Yeah, that was that when we were in Florida, just everything was off. Like just yeah. everything Why'd about. Why you get pulled over? His registration was expired. Kevin? Yeah. And Obviously. I was driving. Mm -hmm. Did you get a ticket? Oh, so she did not give me a ticket. I, I think... I what? actually have no idea. Is that my ticket? Is that his ticket? Like, I think it would well, be for his car, yeah. But I'm driving an unregistered vehicle. Right. Like, and I, is it my job to check to make... Like, I think it is technically my job to make sure that the car is... Do you is, remember? Like, I was in the yeah. back seat and there was like an open bottle of rum or something and I like stashed it between my legs and put a back on top. You're supposed to drink it all. That's what they do in the movies, right? <laughs> so was like, it was so it scuffed. Really like, we were getting pulled over. It's like... <laughs> Like, Will is driving Kevin's car, which is unregistered, and I've got the open bottle of alcohol in the back. And the whole time I was just, like, remembering, like, like okay, they can't just search the car. They can't just, like, if and, she, like, she asks, just say no, say no, say and no. And don't mention the alcohol. <laughs> Would you feel betrayed if Alan had said that, like, I, like if he said it was, like, your bottle of alcohol? It yeah, Alan's like, the bottle of alcohol is not I probably would have been upset at the time, but when I got out of prison 10 years from now, I would have thought it was funny. <laughs> This is a pretty good meme, man. <laughs> and then would, I killed him. <laughs> would you would you still do this podcast from jail if you yeah, wanted to? Yeah, they let me. Yeah, that's probably the most <laughs> yeah, exciting and, and part. William of my William Osmond zooming in yeah. from jail. <laughs> no, they had there was a, there's a podcast like that. Um, oh, I forget what it's called, but they they did it from from a prison. Do you ever see prison TikTok? No, where it's just people in prison, and some of them don't just have cell phones. I don't think. I don't think you're. Supposed to or have internet, yeah, but they, they will yeah. film TikToks of just like their prison life. Oh, just like smuggle it in. Have you ever been to prison? I guess so. 
Mm-mm. <laughs> um, no. Have you ever, what's the closest thing you've Like this gotten? restaurant that was like an old, uh, it used to be a prison in the 20s. Have you <laughs> That's ever, the what? closest you've Alcatraz been to Alcatraz Island. Have you ever gotten oh, nice. trouble with the, with the police? I've been pulled over uh, for going like five miles over the limit. Where? Wow. Where? Uh, on a road trip. They pulled you over for five over? What, what state so. were you in? Oh, I, think... I don't remember. Oh. This was 12 years ago. Or... Oh. You haven't been pulled over since then? No, just a ton of parking tickets in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. The, the there it is. Nice. In LA yeah. The car, though. So you have, uh, you're, you're like, I used to watch, like, I, I knew who you were like a long time ago. Wait, so we, well, yeah, actually, we never really, in, like, introduced him properly. He doesn't I, even need an intro. Actually, no, first, everybody should it's know. True. The first time I ever met you, I think I met you, actually. I don't know if you remember, but it's it was YouTube at the space. YouTube space, and y'all were making a cereal spoon thing. But yeah. this was, like, before your house burned down, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was right and before. you had emailed me and said, like, hey, do you want to make a video? And you had said, like, um, we could either make, like, a... A, a squirrel trap, or I think, and then or a daxophone. I don't know what that is, but oh. <laughs> it, it's like I think, a, it's an instrument. With yeah, like to I think there there's a weird instrument that I wanted to make that I never did. Yeah, um, and then I wanted you to help me with this invention at one point, but I think the gardening right, thing. Yeah, right. It was right when your ha- house situation yeah, happened, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I, yeah, I just met you really briefly there. Yeah, and else, Alan, you were there too. Who was? I because I remember the cereal spoon. I don't remember anything else about it. Oh, I do remember uh, shooting Will in the face with it, and it looked very inappropriate. I was glad that it made it into the video. That's crazy though. That you were 2017. Yeah. So like you, you had some like really 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 popular early youtube videos like you went to the first like youtube what, what youtube did they... live yes yes so i'm 30 now and i started when i was 15 so i've been on youtube for half my life and then actually wow. th- i made a comeback more in the pandemic and that was because of the idubs documentary yeah. ian mm-hmm. idubs uh made this documentary about me that was very helpful for my whole career and i very think fun. that i think it that was my idea well it <laughs> happened because of not you, to take kind credit of, but because uh i met well, actually, I had met Ian before, but yeah. then I saw him at your party that you invited me to. And then the next, I emailed him like, well, I, I liked meeting you. Or, and then the next day he was like, let's, let's do a video thing. So yeah. indirectly. Because I was pushing, I was pushing him because I was like, I was telling him that I think that you would be really interesting. Thank you. Yeah. You're thanks. Because that's helped my life a lot. Man, that was, <laughs> a, I'm thinking wow. now, like that was such, that was like years ago. That was like before. 2019? Yeah. I think it may even have been earlier like talking about it because like i oh. remember talking with him about ideas like cause he's, cause he's always looking for like just interesting people mm-hmm. and i think at the the old house when when michael and i were still living together mm. we were talking like in oxnard we were talking about like like the um sort of channels and personalities that he had found mm-hmm. and then i think i like i don't remember if he i but i just i told him i was like i have been like sort of infatuated with like basically your channel for a long time because it's like it's such like a like an enigma and like back in the day like people were were like losing their minds over here yeah i was 16th mm-hmm. most subscribed at one point on youtube really? but uh that like it took a lot less subscribers back then yeah um because because uh yeah youtube was small yeah i probably had like forty thousand subscribers mm. and was 16th most subscribed Whoa. wait how old are you 31 okay so maybe 31. you were 16 when you were watching yes. them because i was 15 when i was making them yeah um but then i stopped for a really long time uh-huh. so what when did y'all all start making videos? Probably around the same time, like okay, like actually cool. making YouTube videos. Like yeah, some are, we, stuff. are we counting just like 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 early early no, attempts or just like uh, anything that you posted to the platform? That would have been the stop motion stuff. Then. Yeah, I think that counts. I think if you were publishing it, that counts as attempting to make YouTube Technically, videos. Technically, for me, twenty ten or twenty eleven, you were posting to YouTube. And how old are you now? Thirty. 30? Yeah, 30. Almost 30. Okay. But I started the cha- my channel in like 2014. Cool. Cool. God, pretty soon we're always going to be dead. Oh, yeah. What? He's not it's wrong. Just, yeah, it's a fact. Soon. My life's halfway over. What are some of your ailments mm-hmm. you've had, like, like that, you've, that have developed as you've gotten older? Like, do you have anything that you're like, wow, now, now I feel... I've gotten fewer ailments. That's shockingly. good. I don't it's believe you. Believe. I don't believe no, you. All even every time half we talk. a second. There's yeah, no like way that you. Yeah, but they're all the, the ailments of my twenties. Oh. Uh, yeah, all those things that all those yeah, stories. Thirties. All those stories are like from my like when I was twenty three. So getting healthier. Mm. Yes. My knee. One of my knees is kind of weird. Like if I go all if I squat all the way down, mm-hmm. 
and come up, I have to be really careful. I have to sort of like use my left knee more because like it literally will, something will like dislocate. I have a question though. Yeah. Like how, think, how do you sit when you edit? I think this is from running though. Oh, I usually do a goblin thing. I usually edit kind of like. I do that too sometimes. <laughs> I switch it around. So what I do is I sit on That's my back. That's probably good for like you. This. Like this? Yeah. I, have, oh. I do that. I do that a little bit. It but like, feel, it, it seems it, like it's bad, but I guess here. I don't have any back. I'll, I'll try problem, to describe right? what happens. Like, it's like, like a good. Can I go? I'm, I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna do it. Can you isolate? I think my if I go all the way down. Uh, yeah, but we basically never do. This actually is like a recurring thing on the podcast. Is we all kind yeah, of talk at once. So I don't need to put it down. No, no, you can maybe, just I think keep maybe talking into it. Once I do it, yeah. Once, it I mean, like, it's like it's kind of, it's kind of oh, yeah, annoying for the audience, oh, but it's so also don't funny. Do it. so, so it like, it's like while he's going, they can still it's hear almost us. Like the, and Ian just the, kind of what's like lets us all called? talk. Is there a word for it? It's no. So word. it's like my kneecap. It's like it's like a recurring thing. Like something will like displace, and I my leg will get stuck, and I can't bring it. But I mean, I really have to like close it up again. You're 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 like trying to learn. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, I think you would have a very good, I think you so could host a very good audience. I just realized host. that we're doing the split headphone thing right now, like, probably. Like, late night Are we style. doing, yeah, we have to do huh. it. There's really no other way do to what's, Do you have a favorite role. late night host? No. Huh. Should we join theirs again? Yeah, let's join theirs again. Yeah. And, yeah, so now we, yeah, we did the thing where we like yeah. separate now. I didn't even realize that because normally we announce it, right? So I'm always aware and it bothers me so much. Do you wish that the people who listen in their car would log on to YouTube after and comment? No, I I hope they do. Hmm. Why? <laughs> <laughs> to leave just, comments. Just for comments. I feel like if somebody went out of their way to log in and comment after listening it to it's it in their bad. car, it's because they want to say something. Well, bad. Yeah. How do you know what they're thinking in their cars? Because obviously, it's obvious what the YouTube people feel. Yeah. But with a car thing, you don't really have feedback. Hmm. I think that's a problem. So there's a whole like, part of your audience you don't know if they're getting a different feeling. I think that's just the thing with YouTube comments. Like you can get like two million views and like decent interaction could be like 20,000 comments. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's 1%. Mm -hmm. So it's like 99% of people watched it and said nothing. Yeah. I, so it's like you're, you're getting, sorry, I'm just going to say you're getting the people who liked it or didn't like it on the extreme. The people who were just like, that was pretty good. They just, they just left. That was it. All I want to know <clears throat> is that generally people are like enjoying. Yeah. The yeah. The mm -hmm. content. Cause like that's sort of like my feedback. You know, and this is, it's hard to describe to people like what making videos is because they sort of see a video and it's like, oh, this person did this thing and it was fun. But like, there's a lot of like actual sort of work behind uh -huh. the scenes to like put it together, mm. to plan things. Like we just, So maybe just have people that are listening on their, in their car, leave an Instagram comment. Yeah. Or like we have, uh, we have our, um, Patreon. discord, our Patreon server too. Okay. That's, nice. that, that is, I think a very, very, like one of my favorite things. Nice. Of this is Cause you can talk to people who sort of are like interested enough in what we're doing to be active yeah to be yeah. active and like financially supporting it so we can cool. you know, pay for the stuff that we're doing uh and they usually are like the most uh, either positive or constructive with their mm. feedback nice mm. um yeah i'd rather take like feedback from somebody who's like you know paying five bucks a month is probably going to be more well thought out than from someone who's just leaving a comment and like right. all i really really want is to make sure that we're doing a good job making stuff that people want to watch yeah i yeah. don't want to be doing a i mean why would i want to be doing a bad job like, that make any, like right right you, know, you just want to make sure that people are you know getting having a positive experience true what's the most so what's the most insane science thing that's ever happened like that you've ever done on the podcast and that people are most excited about or they're just like that is like insane i don't think we've ever done any like science talking thing. about drugs oh, we've oh never yeah done any yeah science. people yeah getting in trouble FBI with the stuff yeah like i think it's, it's mostly uh, i think it's more about the sort of like us sort of like retelling or recollecting things that mm. we've done before um because there's like we do very few experiments we should do live science oh wait no no it was uh for the patrons only when we uh tried eating dog food oh that's true it was dog food oh, versus yeah. real food wow. that's probably the best one wow dog food's <laughs> it was really bad <laughs> yeah, yeah dog it food was, doesn't uh, taste good less good <laughs> yeah that's that's just like fun to see people eating gross stuff yeah <laughs> yeah it was a blind taste test and it turned out that it was really obvious every yeah. single time which one was dog food <laughs> I ate it and I was just like, this is not good. I so said, either this is the worst sandwich I've ever had or it's dog food. Here's a science question. What would happen if you eat one of those poppets? Probably nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you think, Nigel? Well, if you bite it, it's going to pop. 
Probably. Right, but if you swallow it whole and it like gets exposed to your the hydrochloric it gets wet, acid, it's like okay. donezo. It's huh. Not There's only nice. one way to find out. <laughs> oh, it's like you eat it. In the, your stomach oh like, yeah, oh, Patreon extra. I'm not, I'm not gonna doing that. It. We're gonna stuff Nigel full of poppets. We're gonna punch him in the stomach. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> See what happens. That'd be crazy. <laughs> they just explode. <laughs> You probably nothing would happen and you just internally bleed. Because it's what it's silver fulminate in there or is it I something think else? It is silver fulminate. Which is on rocks. Right, just like a very small amount. Yeah. I don't know. Because my understanding that it's like it's like a, the molecule is essentially like in an unstable position. Yeah. It's like a mouse trap basically. It's just looking for like an excuse to So fall if you apart. like give it a tap, that's why it goes and it releases all that chemical energy. Yeah. Box. We did a science. <laughs> give, give, give me, all right, all right, give me the box. I'm gonna you eat, eat it. like a bowl of cereal, put some milk in it. <laughs> oh god. Uh I don't know about you guys, but I, I was like hugely into early YouTube, like in high school. Like yeah. I watched, you know, like Shay Carl, Lisa Nova, Cassim G. Oh yeah. Your videos. Yeah, I met all of them back in the I day. I was gonna say, who do you who do you like still keep in contact with from? Like, uh, I texted school? Lisa Nova recently. Nice. And uh, Cassim G, I've texted, and I texted. He's still kind of doing stuff, right, Cassim? I think he's on G4, which actually oh, yeah. I was on Attack of the Show once, and they were making fun of me. Uh, I think they probably wouldn't okay. do that these days, but Kevin Pereira was like, I want to body slam that kid. I, <laughs> I hate him. And then Olivia Munn was like, yeah, he, he sucks or something. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? Wait. Why? Is there a clip oh, of this? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. That's so bad. Oh, my God. I, I think it's but why? Why do they hate you? I don't know. I, was there, I don't know. <laughs> They're trying to be funny, but oh, all they know how to do it's, is... Be I think there's a video called, like, my TV appearance, not as happy as it sounds, and I put it at the very end of it. Um, <laughs> Why are they so mean? I mean, but, it's... <laughs> but anyways, Kasim G does that show now. He hosts it, and he's a way better host, in my opinion. And he doesn't threaten to body slam you. And then Kevin Pereira is probably fine, too, but... Um, yeah. Um, and then... Uh, I talk to Dave Days. Do y'all know Dave Days? Yeah. So I, I talk to him still. He's awesome. Dave Days, Tezonde, Kasim G, Lisa. Um, Shay Carl, I haven't seen in forever. He got in trouble. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> he, he said that I was the first person he ever subscribed to. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't know if like people know those YouTubers as much anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's only a few people like Smosh is still yeah. just as big. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I guess I don't know if they're just, they're not just as big because they were number one. Now it's Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who you've worked with. Yeah. I, I've only made like four episodes of my podcast, but one of them was like a mock interview with him. Not nah, wait. Was he actually? And no, it wasn't him. Oh. It was like uh, one of those voice recorder things. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I really like you can make him say anything you want. <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured out. I've made literally four episodes in like two years and never never figured it out yeah yeah <laughs> i uh we've made 30 wait which was this oh, this, is, is this 40, 40? <gasps> 40. this is oh number 40 wow. we still have no idea what Whoa. We're doing. But you don't know what order you'll put them out in Oh, well, well, now it has to be number forty. Yeah, now it has okay. to be number forty. No, <laughs> somebody do it the other way. <laughs> anything we do make any sense? Well, this is actually oh, maybe thirty-nine. It could be. <laughs> do go back one. Episode well, we got or forty-one. Yay, episode thirty-nine. Yay. And the next one. Yeah. Yay, Yay episode, episode forty-one. Forty-one. Forty-five. <laughs> so, what does your bracelet mean? Oh, it just it has my name on it. Nice. So I remember. <laughs> nice. My nice. name. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. The vid. I was I was getting makeup done at VidCon, like in one of the, I don't know one of the rooms, and then they had like a make your own bracelet set up. So then all the boys started making bracelets. Cool, cool. What do you think your most sort of like memorable early YouTube experience was? YouTube Live, really? Yeah, that was cool. Mm. Got to go meet everyone. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, did, you met wait. Katy Perry and MC Hammer. Oh, yeah. Did you meet Bo Burnham? Yeah, there? he was there too. I right? met oh, Bo huh. Burnham, Katy Perry, MC Hammer, Fred. Tayson Day, Soldier Boy. Well, I didn't meet Soldier Boy, but I saw him. Um, <laughs> good enough. Nice. Good yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, and then that was just very, very fun. Um, See, that's like also meeting Lisa Nova for the first time, and then because that was the first time I came to LA. Yeah. That was when I was fifteen. I am so envious. Like, is that early YouTube mm. sort of like community was like like when I watched that, it's like I wanted to be a part of that so bad. I oh mean, yeah. Like, everyone. It was like, I mean. I don't know how healthy it actually was, but it felt like pretty organic compared to some of the kind of weird, like YouTube nowadays feels. Well, it's grown a lot. It's like grown you, a lot. Back yeah. then they're like, we're inviting all of the YouTube creators. And it's like, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, it was. I, I want to say that like YouTube now is less businessy, but also like that's where 
like make studios came out of yeah and so that is also mm. pretty businessy well it's but. like weirdly less and more like back then it yeah. was all mcns yeah and like mm. you know machinima and like all these big mm. they're gone but now it's kind of like to have a youtube channel it's kind of just a privately run right. small business mm -hmm. right it's much yeah so it's become like more official but then also like less official at the same time yeah uh, and i i kind of missed that like you know, like it, there's not a whole lot of that. Like I remember well, thinking to myself, like what the YouTube space was, mm -hmm. which are doesn't like, exist anymore. Doesn't really exist. Right? I think they still are there, but they just don't. They're not like the yeah, space the yeah. coronavirus killed them. No, I think Google killed them. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with, worry, the help they were, they were, with the help of Corona, with the help the of power Corona, of Corona and Google they were combined. empty long before Corona. <laughs> but like you know, it's a, it was a studio space that they had a couple, or there were a few of them all over in like big cities all over the world. Yeah, and you sort of would expect be like, oh, like YouTubers in that area would sort of go there and collaborate. Mm. But that was not the case at all. I remember the first time going, it was like nobody there. And the YouTube like, space. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've only been that one time when you were there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, the first time I was on a Jubilee video, it was there, so, mm -hmm. which is common considering that you know it's like you're from early youtube and then the only time you've ever or like the it just like it doesn't make any sense you're like what, mm. what the hell is this space if they don't do anything the one good thing is that's how, that's how we, we met in person because you yeah. came to specifically to meet you i was i was hosting workshops there because if you hosted a workshop they would cater it and so you would get like free decent food. This sounds like and a no very way, Alan a, scheme. No, 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 no. Let me. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. Let me explain the other half. I want to share the other half of the scheme. Alan, nobody would show up to these these. So you would just eat the food. So he would. I eat would the bring food. it home. And it was, <laughs> because it was it was if you could if you pitch them a workshop. I I think I literally called it like science YouTubers. They would cater it as if a bunch of people would show up. But I knew that there weren't any science YouTubers. And so then I would bring home like an entire platter of like wraps, sandwich, sandwich yeah. wraps. Yeah. Alan. And so <laughs> imagine my surprise when I show this up. That's why they one shut down the space. Expecting an empty room. And William Osmond is there. Know, he had worked. traveled. I'm there with John. Uh -huh. We just flown back from. From Peter's oh, sleep. Was there that the toy company? Yes, there? and then, <laughs> and then like an ad agency trying to like, I don't even know what. I they think were they were like do. Bratz dolls. I think it was yeah. they were trying to sell Bratz dolls it or something. So and so, they so were it was like, just you guys at an ad yeah, company like trying to figure out like like what kind of videos. We and were Alan's making. like, God, I just want to eat these sandwiches. I know, every person that showed up, I was like subtracting my head like that's one less. Sandwich. Yeah, exactly. One and less. the one guy just kept eating sandwiches. Oh yeah, he was huge. He just and he kept eating the sandwiches. And Alan's just there like no. No, Stop. my plan. Yeah, <laughs> you're eating on my sandwich. Because that was after you you had done this like 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 transcontinental tour yeah. of like going to New York and then going to Ohio, Canada and Canada. Ohio, and you had just come back and you specifically were there to steal my sandwiches. <laughs> yes, because you heard that <laughs> they cater it. Yes. So how did you meet them? With VidCon in 2019. Cool, cool. And then how did we meet? You emailed me, and then I came to the YouTube I just called emailed you. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that really? I just called emailed you? Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chelsea knows. Um, networking God. <laughs> <laughs> you like, oh, my God. You're replying. Like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I really, want, I really want you to meet my uh, our friend, because she, it's like, I remember talking to her, and I don't even remember how it got started, but the fact that she, like, A, knew who you were, and, and had numbers. apparently met you at like something you had done or maybe at a, at a bookstore <laughs> like i was like i'm like i this is uh, unbelievable because that's awesome i have never met anyone else that was like Equally yeah yeah, yeah I've, in my hometown people didn't really rec recognize me because youtube wasn't as big back then yeah so but then a couple times after i graduated high school and was back there then sometimes people would recognize me every, every once in a while that's, it's probably better that way. I feel like... I, I guess so. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> what about here in LA? Like now, do you get recognized? Sometimes they'll get recognized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other day I went undercover to UCLA. <laughs> and they recognized you yeah, undercover. <laughs> yeah. well, hey, what? <laughs> when Wait, I, how do you, what do you mean by undercover? Or not really like... Like I was pretending to be someone else. And oh, like, but you didn't like wear like a... Just like a backwards hat and like a shirt I wouldn't <laughs> normally... Like I was, I was, I was dressed as uh, this person I had met... Um, Cause I wanted to like do this thing where mm -hmm. I kind of interact with people pretending to be one person and then pre pretending to be another person. Cause I want to make this video series and see if I 
I, I haven't edited it yet, but so I don't know if it will ever be good or I'll ever release it. But I tried to just. That's how I feel about all my videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, because I, I, I want it to be like a good, impactful series, but I don't know mm. if I'm really if it makes the impact I want it to. So we'll see if it's good or not. <laughs> you make all your videos by yourself or do you have somebody who helps you? Uh, both. It depends which one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But sometimes I'll like that one, just one camera person that was a friend of mine named Nick helped me. And then sometimes I'll make a game show with like a crew. Oh, the Smoothie Madness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smoothie Madness mm -hmm. is my game show. And then I'll make that with a crew. Um, but then I'm like in charge of, of, of it. Uh, and I usually just lose money making it, which is why I haven't made it in a while. Yeah. Um, and then I've been making one called Dion's Dungeon, which is an interview series, which is like appealing more to a younger demographic because he's like more in that age range. Mm. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. So I came to your shoot of a car. Oh, yes. yes. Can you talk about that or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's that's coming out, out soon. It's, Finally. It's like, I keep saying it's, it, it's been almost done for a hot second, but like it is actually basically done. There's that was just like one nine that's months ago. Actually basically, what are your layers of like... <laughs> yeah. But, but Will, what are your layers? Because it goes from done, actually done. No, sorry, it goes from pretty much done. <laughs> pretty much done. To like basically done. Basically done. done. actually so basically. Actually really basically, basically done. All, inevitably almost done. Okay, yeah. Let me, let me. And I'll, then totally I'll, postable. I'll, I'll explain, I'll explain <laughs> a little, all these layers a little of bit of the, the onion, one of the, <laughs> of the onion layers of making a video. Um, so when we did that video, there were two main cameras. So there was uh, cameraman John and then another uh, friend that I went to high school with named Garrick. They're both filming. Mm -hmm. um, the video is cut together. It's edited. Uh, one of the cameras had, I think, two decibel recording levels. And so I think that the left channel is like, you know, normal. And the, my, the right channel is like negative 6 dB or something. So mm -hmm. like if you have uh, peaking, Mm. you can switch to the other channel. Oh, that's cool. Well, the thing is, now you have to go through this video. Oh. <laughs> and you have to mix it. Uh -huh. And so you now have to go in and decide which channel is going to be what's coming through. And so it's like, that is probably literally a few hours of work. Mm -hmm. But something like that, you could you could probably hire someone well, like that it's, yeah, it's, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, yeah. it's just like, it's like, even when you have something that you would say is close to done, there are mm -hmm. still like these There's little rabbit holes and, and pitfalls of like going through and making but sure there's no like pops. And that, so is that like an example of one of many things? Cause you just said that was just a few that's hours. One, that's one of like the sort of the small things that nobody would ever think oh, about. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Like we had one issue where uh, we were driving in the car and Michael had a lav on him. I had a wireless mic that was connected to the camera, but the, when you start like putting metal in between the mic and the, and the it just starts getting like tick, 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 mm -hmm. like clicking in and out. Um, and so we had to then find Michael's audio because the original we had a uh, we have an editor that does like rough cuts to try to go through all the footage because mm -hmm. it's like too much to go through otherwise. Yeah. And then you have to like sync that like later. So you then have to go through there and figure out where it is and then line them up mm -hmm. and pull that audio back in. And it's just like, it doesn't, it's not hard. Mm -hmm. It's just when it's you time have, consuming. it's time. Yeah. And when you start having like dozens and dozens and dozens of these little tiny mm -hmm. things, it just turns into like, uh, it's like, I, I don't want to do this. And it's, like, it's all invisible. Like, yeah, like the, no one has what, any when idea. people see the videos, like it's just it's it's it almost people treat videos like they're just like apples they find on like yeah. a tree branch and they're like it's always like it's always like in the present tense like people will watch old videos and assume it just happened yeah. and it's always fully formed yeah. without any like intent or decision and like mm. all this little technical stuff like, you never see any of it the only thing i'd add is like for my videos i mean how long they are but like the last one i think it takes usually it takes like two or three days to do the audio work like once the video is mm -hmm. done and i'm happy with it it takes like, yeah, it's a couple of days just to like, cause every single, it probably doesn't occur to people, but like if I put like a cup down in that clip, there's fan noise, but I usually do it in silence. So you'd hear a mic go on and off. So you have to remove the background noise of every sound that's in the video. Or you introduce more extra background noise. Yeah, I, or you just don't it's sweeten a, your audio. I don't do anything. You don't <laughs> yeah, you like, like, but then you end around. up with like Alex's video where you're oh, yeah. screaming in the microphone. <laughs> yeah. Like clipping. And it's like, oh, that was I, funny. I, like, yeah, no, it's not funny. It was way too much. It's funny like, to me. It's like, I, it was. I, uh, I, mean, I don't understand we, that. Was we, we had no microphone on the camera? Were we using on camera? Like, it we was were, his video. We, like I'm not. What am he I? He could have declipped it though. He didn't do he, anything, and I'm, it's just like Alan going. <laughs> and we, then all the comments are like, Alan is a so loud, loud Asian it's like, it's man, like right next to the freaking onboard camera mic. It's not Alan. I mean, Alan is loud. I yeah, I can be. 
I've had a game show episode where just everything went wrong. Our main camera, like that one, if it was the game show, just went out. So we just had to use the other ones. Yeah. And then the audio was bad. So we had to just use one woman's <laughs> mic, and her loft, like boost and boost the volume. it. And so people yeah. were like, why is the cameraman breathing so heavy? Because <laughs> like, you just hear like... Yeah. You just hear yeah. it in the background. The whole episode. I, I, that and actually then, sounds like it might be funny. Though. And then it's like filmed like like from the other the <laughs> side cameras. And then... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like a horror movie. You know, like when the guys peering like in from creeper. outside. Yeah, the creeper. Well, it's like the creeper who's looking in from outside, like the window. They sometimes put the breath in. To yeah, really, like make yeah. it seem these weird guys. So that was like really just disappointing to get that and be like, oh god, because yeah. it's so much work to arrange it, and then you have to work with that. But yeah. th- then I made a movie at the end of last year, and also that one because we had such a time crunch. The you made a whole ass movie or like a yeah, short film? A biopic about Chad Hurley, the creator of YouTube. Oh, huh. wait, is this on your channel? <laughs> Whoa. It, it's called Making YouTube. But the thing that was, the thing about it is the audio, uh, we had a very little time because we had to get it out in time. So the audio is really bad. And basically, <laughs> it's what y'all said of like, uh, like, you do the extra work so that people don't notice yeah. it. Oh, as yeah. As opposed yeah. to, like, now you'll watch the movie and it still has the same story, but you can't get as engrossed in the story because there's certain audio things yep. that, like, you're, like... you like, you're noticing them. Yeah, but I think that... I think that then you just learn and you get better on the next one. Yeah. I actually personally like doing audio work. Cool. I... I like <laughs> I just, I, Nigel's I, a psychopath all, yeah, I just don't know yeah. what else to say about that yes, masochistic I sociopath That's <laughs> there's a, I like doing everything that I do to make videos I just sometimes don't like how many of them yeah. I have to do how many videos how many, like, how many tasks yeah. inside of each video and like w- there was one bit in this, in this upcoming video where we're at the dealership this uh, used car dealership and there, there's like something like Katy Perry in the back and it's like, oh. all I can think about is like, someone's going to come in and like copy this video mm-hmm. and copyright strike it for a, some stupid yeah. radio music playing in the background. Mm-hmm. And it's impossible to remove it. Mm-hmm. And so we tried a couple of things and like, it's, it's basically not there, but it just sounds a little weird. Cause we're trying mm-hmm. to use like the lobs to pick up the car dealership guys. And so it's like, I could remove it for you. It, it's, it's. But will you? It's good enough. I'm not, <laughs> we're not changing it. It's yeah, good enough. Saying. And you can hear exactly what they're saying. It just kind of has that weird filtered noise, mm-hmm. you know, where it's almost like in like a weird, like anechoic chamber. Yeah. Like, Cause you did, you did the, like some, you cut some of the, the voice out. That's, the, that's why usually. Yeah. It's, I think it's just weird, like filter frequency. Right. Like, right. The right. Frequency. Like it's, it's not filtering. tin, it's not a tin can. But it sounds like cheap headphones. Yeah, it sounds something. like something. Yeah, it sounds like something. Well, weird. You're li- it's, I think you're just missing frequencies. Yeah, mm-hmm. it sounds just, like a weird compression artifact. Yeah, it maybe. just sounds like odd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's like I don't care. Like that's good enough. You can hear them. Um, I don't care. But then it's like, guess what? If you record something and you can't hear the person, guess what you got to do? Double man. Subtitles. <laughs> yeah, and those subtitles. Are really and it's like subtitles are the one thing I don't like. Doing. I actually prefer dubs over subs. You can't dub people's <laughs> voice. You just, you just dub everybody who, yeah. like, just you doing all this voice acting yeah, for different people. Like, oh, I'm not going to buy that car. That's my voice, voice for the car dealer. But you're talking to yourself yeah, in the video. Yeah. Like, hey, can I sell this car? No way. I'm not going to sell you this. I'm not going to buy this car. Why not? Why aren't you going to buy it? Because I don't want to buy it. That's my car dealership voice. You can do that in cartoons. You can't do that in No, movies. it's so bad. You can't, like, match it. You ever heard bad dubs? You, like, you, you ever watch a movie and you like the person's talking and then they continue talking but it just sounds slightly different yeah the adr when people it was either adr or they're using a clip from a slightly different scene Uh, where like maybe something was just moved like a big reflector was moved and that's enough to change the the reverb in the room Mm. there are ways to match that I, you, I do that. Oh my God, Nigel! I can, you I want mean, me to talk how, more how, about audio? How much work? do you do you work on the audio for your? Because I do very little compared to like what I should, Nigel. I basically do. I almost do nothing. To that's that's what you video. should do. You should try to do. Oh, no, but you saying that the difference is like for the voiceover stuff that I do. There's no there's no music in the background. Mm-hmm. So it's like you become very. It's very easy to pick up on like right. background noise. But for the other stuff, I'm in a room and it's ironically very like it's the opposite you don't want it to be too quiet Mm -hmm. it sounds very weird if there's no like reverb in the room Mm -hmm. or it's like but for a voiceover you don't want that right i mean you don't you don't really do like the quiet chemistry voiceovers right (laughs) um i I do voiceovers it depends what kind of video because i'll make short films i'll make mini documentaries it depends what you're going for yeah 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 but i always like someone taught me gain uh hard limiter 
to make sure it doesn't peak too mm -hmm. high. Do you know the hard limiter effect? Mm, you, I it, don't think so. It, you can make sure that it never goes above like one dec mm. negative yeah, one decimal. Like, huh. That's a good effect to learn on Premiere Pro if oh. anyone is an editor. And then, um, and then like de hummer or de noise. Mm. De that can be helpful. Uh, those are the only things the, I know. The bet for voiceover, at least, the best thing you can do is just honestly like just learn to do better voiceover. I'm not saying you're doing bad. I'm saying that like yeah. what I learned is like you learn to not speak too loudly. You learn not to speak too quietly. And it like, you don't, you use pay attention to a lot of what you're saying. And then that limits how much audio work you need to do. Can we talk about the early two videos? Do you want to talk about that? Sure. That okay? Yeah. Although I did have one question yeah, I didn't yeah, want yeah. to forget okay. that I was thinking is, um, do, if you had, if you could have any like power as a YouTuber, like any kind of skill that you don't feel like, or just boost your skill in that area, which would it be? That was just something I was wondering since it was like tech, YouTube tech talk. I think I wish I gave less of a shit. <laughs> I, th I wish I was a better uh, cinematographer, just like cool. camera work in general. That's, that's very good. Okay, Mr. One. Shaky Hands. Yeah, I mean, that's part of it too, is just my nerves are not very good. So like my yeah. hands always have like a little like, the essential tremor. It's got its benefits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would have said uh, editing, uh, like if you had asked me a couple months ago, but I recently learned that there are, um, there are hotkeys. There's like... Did you know that Alan. in Premiere Pro, you can do certain actions by just pressing keyboard buttons instead yeah. of using a mouse? You know how many people I've around? given my hotkeys now? Oh, I think I need to re get yours. Actually. It's like, I think three or four people now they're, use my They're good, hotkeys. but I did a thing where I got a new laptop and no, I, I did to... sync workspace uh, and it actually got rid of all the old ones instead of bring on the old Adobe. ones. Adobe. So, yeah. Their cloud features have actually made the software it's worse. Horrible. Yeah, It's amazing. I can, I'm so glad that they've made it so internet based. Yeah. So it turns out that I don't know if you use keyboard shortcuts, but not it's, really. Maybe I would look them see, up. See? I, do, you, do you have a lot of footage when you make videos? Yeah. So I, I have a couple of tricks where uh, the default in Premiere, Q and W will cut forward and cut backwards. So it essentially mm. will, it'll cut to the end of the clip or the beginning of the clip. Mm. So if you put your playhead in the middle of the clip, and I think, I don't even know which one it is because mm -hmm. I do it. And let's say you hit W, it will delete the front of the clip. Mm -hmm. And mm. so I then added another one that is to, to actually cut, which I did is like shift plus space, like shift space. And so you can like drag your playhead shift space Q mm -hmm. and then you just like boop, clip gone. Cool. And so you can just really quickly like you're scrolling with one hand mm -hmm. and then the other hand you're just like quickly like cutting forward backward like nipping clip. It's like you can really 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 quickly like mm -hmm. just digest footage. Cool. Alex started doing that too and he was editing his uh, voiceover. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like I don't it just meant when I finally started doing that um cuz like when I first started making videos it was like literally on Windows Movie Maker. Those are the first couple of videos on Windows Movie Maker. Then I like got Premiere Pro, and then I spent like the next five years probably just dragging things around with my mouse like a caveman. And now oh it feels God, like, and now it feels it. It honestly, it makes me feel like kind of dumb for not <laughs> learning things earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I highly recommend like okay learning learn the the shortcuts. I'll have to learn those. Shortcuts. Yeah. I'll have to re-listen to this part. Write oh, it down. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you too if you have, we just one day we'll mm -hmm. sure get a tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Editing jam. Yeah, it is good. I like mean. even Alex was like, I, it, I genuinely don't understand why some of these shortcuts aren't like don't exist already. Mm -hmm. well, what's weird is in Premiere, there isn't like to cut. There's you're, no cut shortcut. Which means like Vegas, you have to, it's just, you have to do it's it just S. You just it's like just built yeah, in. There like, should be most of the hotkeys are all already built in. And when you go to change the keyboard shortcuts, I'm just I love shitting on Adobe. I used to like really praise it, but <laughs> in the past four years have been like there's something. Especially with the they're, cloud like, stuff, they're smoking is, I don't know what something. They're, doing. they're mm. told every they're, they're high. <laughs> they're high on drugs. Um, in a bad way. If you want to add <laughs> a cut to a keyboard shortcut, it's called edit so when you're connecting it to the key you're not doing cut cut changes it to the cut tool it literally says like insert edit oh so that's huh. like that's the function you're looking for to, to attach to the keys yeah insert, it's, i think it's insert edit and it's like insert edit is that what you call cutting a clip like i want i i think there's you can do it, but it's like is a weird workaround where you need like a mouse that's got like a like a special click function. Uh, being able to just bring the playhead to where your cursor is—that's what I want. 
a shortcut that you just hit something and just go playhead moves to wherever it is. Yeah. I mean, I think to where you're, other than, other than to clicking. Where you have your cursor and you have your playhead. Can you just click it? Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I'm mm. done with clicking. I don't but, click anymore. But what's the difference between clicking on the mouse and clicking on the keyboard? Well, to move the playhead, you actually need to click like a on the particular timeline. part of the timeline. Yeah. And I would like to just be able to like... I don't want to click anything anymore, Nigel. I just want to use my mind. Yeah. Premiere's, I don't, you know, actually, we should stop talking shit about editing software because no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Adobe can kiss my ass. I pay them a lot of money for their garbage software that somehow gets worse every year. Twenty year old, it's uh, what? Twenty year old is like legacy code. Vegas is still bad, but it gets less bad every year. Apparently, DaVinci Resolve is pretty good and it's free. Yeah, it's just it's just the learning curve. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I, anyway, what, we should what stop. Did you, we should leave. What did we you, should leave this conversation? Somehow, a conversation worse than taxes. <laughs> yeah. What did you? How did you make your like early YouTube videos? So like that's iMovie. iMovie. Yeah. Nice. And you record on a webcam. Yeah. And like we're because we've talked a little bit about this before because I was like so curious about like your like the kind of uh, the lore of the Dax Flame channel for sure um, about like you know how how much of it was you know like real how much of it was sort of just inspired by real life events was it kind of like more like like how would you describe it I, I would just say it's real but I was also an exaggerator as a teenager uh, so now I'm just not an exaggerator more literal yeah um and so that's kind of but like i think i started to notice just the mystery surrounding me too yeah and just noticed that that's like that was at a certain point like it was like off-putting to read about but then it was like also beneficial um and so yeah that was kind of like my early early hype so you kind of like were were doing something that was like maybe like sort of in like real ish, but exaggerated. And then the mystery of it, I think like, like I'll try to describe my, I feel like I should describe what Dax's videos were. So, or should I have, what's funny? I, I think, I mean, do you want actually you, you describe what, what would yeah. you, how would you describe your old videos? I think just like talking about like high school troubles and things I was excited about and connecting with, connecting with fans and like a newfound fame because I was 15 and like YouTube wasn't really established as like a, if you're YouTube famous now, you're just regular famous. But back then, yeah. like there was no framework to reference point. So I think it was like that. And then you, you notice like, okay, so you're, you're yelling in one video and people like seeing you angry, which, so it like just starts off from a place of like, I just want to share my life. And then it kind of eventually you're like, you lean into things because you notice mm -hmm. that people like it. And then I think even as an adult, you do that still like y y you post a TikTok about being in movies and people like that. And you're like, okay, well people like to hear about the movies I was in, or you post a TikTok about a meme you were in and then you talk about that more. Right. You sort of like learn what people, but, mm -hmm. but I think I realize as an adult, it's not that good to let that drive you. Right. And yeah. so I think it's something I feel like insecure about still, but it's hard to resist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I mean, especially on TikTok, you can see people get like really pigeonholed into the doing like, yeah. exactly like one very specific kind of thing. Cause nothing else like works. Well, like yeah. someone made a thing about an old video of mine the other day. And so I made a response to it. I was like, people will probably watch this a lot because it's about like this one meme that I was in. And, but then the thing that people kept commenting on the video is like, I hope he's not dead or like, like he said he's going to die in two months. Cause I made this short film mm. called two months to live. Okay. Uh, but it was like, it's, it's not, it's not about real life. It's like, it's like a short film about someone who has a terminal illness. Right. And so I think just some people on TikTok who randomly saw me, looked at my channel and saw that and they're like, go on the TikTok video and they're like, guys, it's so sad. He, he's 30 now and he's going to die soon. And so I, I made a video saying like, guys, please stop spreading that rumor. I'm not going to die. Do you, do you ever feel like people like misinterpret a lot of your stuff? Yeah, for sure. But, but there's also a lot, I think that just comes with being pop, popular. Like I'm not that popular, but I'm popular enough to where I have yeah. like over like people watching me who I don't there's know. There's a lot of attention. Yeah. And, and like people who might not have seen me before. Mm. So maybe I'll average like 30,000 views these days. Um, and so it's like maybe 15,000 of those have seen me before, or maybe probably more than that. Like, but the people who haven't seen me before are just like conf confused. Cause yeah, that was, <laughs> that short film was this, the, the punctuation mark. Uh, like I did this thing this past year of like doing some sort of like talent management stuff and like working with some 
up and coming actors. And I ultimately decided to not continue with it, but I was like kind of helping people get their career started or trying to. And, um, and then I was like, I don't want to continue this, but I had planned to make short films with them. Right. And so I, I made this short film as a like kind of finale for that. Anyways, all I have to say that was called two months to live. I posted it and then people who just like skimmed the titles of my right. videos, were like he's going to die. <laughs> and so I, I made a TikTok about that knowing it would probably be popular because it was around right. the meme. You have, you have some like, there's like some banger videos from, from back in the day. Like I think one of my favorite is like a two parter, uh, the Superman. So you like, so that's, oh, the, that's the yeah. meme I'm talking about. Okay. P that's what most people know me from now. So when I watched your videos, like back in the day, it just, everything was very like, uh, like emotions and stuff were like hyper exaggerated. And so it was like, like a mild inconvenience would potentially result in like a total like Dax flame meltdown. I guess. Yeah. I think that, you know, just, I think everyone when they're in high school is just a little bit more uh, on edge yeah. and like you have more hormones and stuff. Mm. And so naturally you're going to be a little more like, so it's like, so when he says that like you, like the videos were insane, how much did you feel like you were really like putting into the performance versus you were just a teenager who was kind of like, I, I think it just, I think I just felt like a regular well, not regular, but like <laughs> you, you didn't feel regular. Uh, Do we, who does? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I definitely <laughs> felt more like an outsider, okay. and and then it was like having a audience to talk to felt very comforting. Yeah. But then it's like that mixture of this will this will feel good to talk about, um, but also like yeah, like amp it up a bit. Because um, you are putting on like a performance for the YouTube stuff, right? Like a little bit. Uh, yeah, but not like making things up, but no, just no, like no, just like heightening myself, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and also just like feeling a relief that you're able to like express those emotions cool. more hugely. Mm -hmm. But I, I I find them embarrassing to reflect on. <laughs> yeah. The whole aspect of like a before and after mm. is something that I think. I think everyone can kind of relate to like tr attempting something and failing at it, but it's just when you put your life out there, you, you, you have to, uh, I guess just like, yeah, it's just like you put yourself at risk of. Yeah. It's, I, I think like sort of the raw authenticity, mm. I think is very appealing. It's something that people I think want to like see. And it's also rare because I think a lot of people will make videos or make content that is like you know very artificial and mm -hmm. you can just smell it so i think my infatuation and, and i'm guessing it's most people's infatuation with the dax flame stuff is it's like that the it, the raw reality and the exaggeration is very hard it's like it's it feels almost so perfectly blended it's like impossible to figure out like what is actually going on yeah okay <laughs> like like because there's, there's this there's this the superman video do you, you you do mind us watching it i just find i find it hard to look at but <laughs> but i i leave them up because like <laughs> no, no, it's part this, of my this i I, th I think these are some of the best videos on the internet <laughs> have you seen my like reaction to it you did a f you like recently yeah no i watched it really briefly because they just make me uncomfortable yeah. <laughs> well i mean watching my old stuff I, I definitely get it makes me uncomfortable too <laughs> the general idea though is that you're wearing like a superman costume and you've and got we, these they, like they can all we can always put it like the footage over well, this it's just a freeze frame just, yeah i think it's yeah. a freeze frame we don't, show the yeah. meme yeah the meme uh and then the follow-up video this is, is so endearing. yeah it's very endearing it's like it's this kid uh, who is like wearing a costume, wants to go to school, is like super excited to wear it, and then you come home from school, you post a second video, like a follow-up video, about how it was just the day was horrible. Yeah. So like, yeah. So like wearing the costume to school is like a disaster. Yeah. And it's like very emotional. Um, did you, when you posted that video, did you actually post like one in the morning and one in the evening? Yeah, yeah, did just you after school. Did you actually <laughs> wear the costume to school? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it was actually bad. It was a bad day. Wow. That's, <laughs> um, dude, that's it's amazing. just completely true. But I think the um, oh. takeaway of my reaction video is basically just um, that some, something like that looks very negative, but... It's like why half my fans know about me now. Right. <laughs> and right. the only time I ever make money on YouTube is when those videos happen to go into the algorithm. Right. <laughs> so it's like, uh, uh, yeah, helpful. <laughs> there, there's one. There's one more too. Where you, yeah, where you push your. You say you push your grandma into a pool. <laughs> 
I, I'm trying to find it right now. I don't remember what it was titled, but like just like just the titles of your of these old videos are like amazing. So I, how much thought went in when you made these videos? Like you wore like the Superman outfit to school. Like did you think this would be like interesting for a video, or did you just want to do it? No, not back then. That you like, kind of just wanted to do it. Yeah, I think nowadays I have more of a a, a content brain. Okay. Uh, but like I think at that age you were just doing stuff. No, I'm saying like I just want to ask like so you just you just wanted to wear it. You went to school. It was a bad time, and then you just talked about your experience. Yeah, I talked about a bit of everything back then. But I, I think I think at that point I was popular already, but maybe only for like, like that was my thirtieth yeah. video. So I think I'd only been popular for a couple weeks. But you were so it's like you were kind of just like living life and then documenting it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, t- cool. the title of this video is just I pushed my grandmother into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good title. It's so, good. so did you actually push your grandma into the pool, or was yeah? It- but- <laughs> oh my god! I'm just thinking. I'm thinking like, you know. I'm just thinking about being that. Like every time we get to talk, I'm just imagining myself at that age. I'm like, just, oh my god. But it's just horrible. And you at that age, you were horrible too. If you would have pushed yourself right when you were 15, do you know what you would do to me in high school? I could have been Dax Flame but- too. <laughs> Wait, y'all were y'all knew each other in high yeah. school? Yeah. What was something crazy that happened? Well, we should give her the mic, no? Oh. No. Yeah. No. He tortured me. He would throw I me tortured. my shirt and stuff. Whoa. Wow. That just means that he liked why you, you. Why did you throw stuff at her shirt? Well, um, uh, that's perverted. Um, he also was. That's, I, I think, I don't know. I feel like it, the, the, it was a different time. We were all very problematic. And your brain I, wasn't fully developed. I, I definitely. What are you doing? Uh, there was only one part I, of my brain I worked mean, well. So I just, it was, I think kids are smarter nowadays. I definitely, when I was 15. Are you admitting to crimes, Alan? Yeah, no, I when think, I was 15, because I'm trying to take this off of Will. So you're like, if I admitted crime, then his yeah, crime yeah, is exactly. less. Yeah, exactly. So when I was 15, one of my friends, she was a girl and she basically found out that like I didn't know how to take off someone's bra one handed. And she was like That's an embarrassing thing. She to was find like, Alan, yeah. every boy your age needs to know how, how to do this. How old were you? I was fifteen, she was fifteen. Yeah, it's embarrassing. But and so age. then she uh, had me practice on this her This feels like she was picking up on you. I mean, maybe looking back on it, it's a little weird. Looking That's back a very on it. weird situation. So, but no, no, no. But so she she would wear her bra over her shirt and have me practice taking it off with one hand. Okay. Um, and so once I learned that skill I was, I was like, I was like, oh, cool. It felt like having a superpower. So I went to school the next day and like my oh. friends who are girls, I would just like go up behind them and, and like undo the bras. <laughs> <laughs> Which I get is wrong. Chelsea, I know is wrong Chelsea now. I know it's right. I know that is not appropriate. See, it's wrong. That feels it's like bad. that feels like a Dax Flame video from two. No, no, I didn't do that. Well, I know you would, but that, it's like that He's is like whoa, whoa. That's whoa. on par though. Of like if you sat down in front of a camera, I got in trouble today for taking girls' bras off. Like well, I, that, I didn't, I that's not, that's not them, similar I to me. Take them not off, you, but I. No, he I said like the idea of like it's very similar energy of like, and yeah, like, not, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's why I was commenting before when like. My brain now is so much like what makes good content. This like you're so much thinking about the product, whereas like that's why I thought it was really interesting that you're like I just wanted to wear a costume to school. Yeah, and then it's like, and I'm just talking about what happened. So it's like Alan wasn't like he just he he's his thought process on it was just straight up. I can take off bras with one hand. It I'm going to do it. It felt like well, magic. And I only did it to the people who like I knew and like they, they, you I know. did it to the people that didn't have boobs anyways. <laughs> that, that's but it's a, just like the thought process doesn't go like any further. I think that's what like Will is. That's like, a, so, yeah. It's just, that's the only, that's one of the things that's hard about, um, if you're a content creator mm-hmm. who talks about your life is like, say that you did that. And then you get popular from it. Oh, uh, then you, you next, gotta keep assaulting. You gotta, you keep, then, yeah, you gotta keep going around. <laughs> and you then you become us. Logan Paul in the forest yeah. and all that. Yes. Wait, sorry, Honestly, though, that's one of his best videos. Then you become <laughs> Logan Paul in the forest. Oh no. That, that's like got some real juice. Yeah. Are y'all friends with him? No. I but, met uh, him once. I've never met him. And I pretended like I worked at Arby's. Yeah. Cause you wore an Arby's hat. I was wearing Arby's hat and Arby's shirt. It was Debril and I wearing Arby's hat. I was hat, I was Arby's supposed shirt. to be there actually, they but I went home early. And the shirts. Yeah, so they thought we worked at Arby's and we just sort of ran with it. Well, I mean, uh, the is you're not. I mean, you might be going to Japan soon, so you could always reenact <laughs> that video. That's not Whoa. a joke you can I, make, I'm Alan. Not, not a, I'm not joking. 
<laughs> That's how he thinks he gets back. He recovers from that comment. Ah, uh, I. T- <laughs> I feel yeah. like there's definitely a meme though. Like, per- made it perfectly through that one. <laughs> I feel like there is definitely like a short meme of like, meanwhile, you're Logan Paul in Japan. No, what if? Okay, what if you never refer to it as the suicide forest? You refer to it as the career suicide forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. he, he's going stronger than ever. That's true. That's he's the he's a boxer now. You know, he thought you couldn't get canceled. Logan Paul couldn't get canceled. <laughs> I do have a tweet. I tweeted once that I will never be canceled. And then I immediately then, no, replied, yeah, please like, don't <laughs> screenshot this. Yeah. There's something about though, like, like putting sort of your either every day or kind of like really raw experiences mm-hmm. on YouTube. Because I think a lot of times either people might not understand like all the context or maybe you are kind of just like unaware of, of what you did. Like you didn't quite see what you're doing maybe in a way that you actually should have seen it. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that kind of stuff like what they did with that video was they were making so many videos yeah. that they didn't even bat an eye because it's just like, it's almost like you're numb to it. Like there's so much footage coming in constantly that it's just like, mm. like, gotta get it out, gotta get it out. And so it's like, you don't really have time to think about it. And I could definitely see with like, you know, a lot of your stuff really early on where it's like, you're, you know, you're basically like sharing raw, like pr- pretty like raw experiences, you know, like whether, you know, completely real or exaggerated. And so people see it and then they're going to sort of interpret it based on the context that you've given them and their own personal life experiences and then maybe get mad at you for something. You probably, did you ever get in any trouble for any of the stuff you did? Like, no, I didn't do anything crazy, but like people got mad at me when I would like try and start a partnership program where I was trying to monetize my fans, but it was more of just an Mm -hmm. oblivious, stupid 15 year old thing where I was like, Hey guys, I'll teach you how to be a YouTuber. And I didn't really know what to talk about. So they're like, we hate this. And then the <laughs> next video, they were okay with it. Right. But I, I think even to this sure. day, like, like earlier this year, I said, you know, I was going to do talent management. I launched that with this person who is like, ha- hadn't done acting before, but like, um, and I was like, I'm going to help this person start a career, get things going. Literally the day after I, am, I talked to him so much before I started it. Like, Hey, are you, are, are you interested in doing this? I, it's going to be like something we see if we can make mm. it work or not. Literally the day after I launched that video, he was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And so I had to make a video saying like that video I made yesterday is like, I, 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 so it felt like a repeating pattern of that. And like, that was just an embarrassing aspect, especially now that I'm 30. I'm like, particularly this year, I've been wanting to just feel more mature and feel like Mm. not, not publicly, like still try to take big swings and miss. But I was like, if I just want to take big swings, I'm sure about just at least for it's okay to mm, risk things and mess up. But yeah. So even, yeah, even still like it can be, you can have some embarrassing mishaps, but that just goes with the territory of putting yourself out there. So you got to do it. Do you have any, uh, like pie in the sky, like dream projects? If like, like money resources weren't like an issue. Make my game show on TV. Oh, like a real TV. You want to be on TV. Uh, yeah. Or just be able to fund my game show like regularly uh because huh. i love making it but it's what, just expensive what does it cost for each episode? like 800 bucks okay yeah yeah but i just don't make a lot of money on yeah. my videos like mm. like i i'll maybe make like 100 or 200 bucks sometimes 50 to 200 bucks per video and then like the superman videos every once in a while I'll have a month where those get pushed into the algorithm. Nice. So if anyone at YouTube algorithm headquarters is listening, <laughs> please put those Todd. in there. <laughs> Are we allowed to say Todd? Todd. <laughs> but, but yeah, I would love to do that all the time, like regularly. Mm-hmm. And I have some pretty big plans that I have to see if they're going to work or not. But I have a few big plans. How often do would you post your game show? Like ideally weekly. Oh, weekly. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Weekly, I would like to post my game show. Um, I was for a bit because I had a bunch of money saved mm. after the iDubs documentary came out because people bought a lot of copies of my book. And then nice. uh, Ian think, sold some t-shirts that yeah. I designed and mm. then I got a percentage of that. So then I saved up a bunch and I was like, yeah, I'm fine to lose money for a bit on this. And I still I still like I have an, enough money <laughs> to to like keep going i have to figure out how to boost maybe i'll make a patreon before the end of the year mm. yeah maybe, you, and then i can make short films regularly because i love making short films and directing we talked a little bit in the past about you kind of like having a really strong trajectory like you did youtube 
that kind of blew up and then you were able to like do a little bit of acting after yeah, that. Yeah, I was in two or a few movies, but two of them were really big. And then which, you started wait, wait, which movies? Project X and 21 Jump Street were the big cool. ones and then 22 Jump Street and The Watch and mm -hmm. Another Evil and Making YouTube and Drowning in Potential. Cause you just sort of stopped and then you like traveled the world. You like spent all your money traveling the world, right? Well, I was auditioning still. I was yeah. self taping and like I got really close to being the lead role in We Are the Millers, in really? which case I would have mm. kissed Jennifer Aniston and Emma Roberts. Oh <laughs> uh, man! And, but but then I got second place instead. Oh so no! You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't kiss anyone. And... I didn't kiss anyone. And then um, <laughs> I love that. That's, oh, man, that, that would have been like the, no, the ultimate goal. I would have. Totally the money been... doesn't matter. No. The, the exposure I, doesn't matter. I auditioned with Jason Sudeikis. Even like I was literally like the second oh. place person. And then I auditioned to be the lead in Ryan Gosling's direct debut and I got three callbacks like with him one of them Christina Hendricks was there and she was gonna play my mom Aww. so she was yelling at me a lot and then <laughs> I, I got awesome. I got second place on that too so no. I didn't you gotta uh, start you gotta start um Tanya Hardying these other actors you gotta kill start, them yeah. break their knees well I mean yeah kill them you should start killing them <laughs> yeah because like that's so close <laughs> yeah I know well this is this is also like nine years ago I don't get any auditions now but that's okay because now i'm making my own movies and focusing yeah. on like my own things and yeah there's like some exciting potential things soon mm. i'm currently editing that idea i shot the other day which could be a cool idea and hopefully impactful and mm. help the help the world did you ever mm. watch have you ever watched any nathan for you no but i've met him before you've met nathan wait how did you meet him um <laughs> Okay, they wait. Fielder, right? That's so, okay, I did. I actually, I have seen one episode when I I went to the premiere. It was for that and this other show. And just at the time, my manager who, who was managing me just said, "Do you want to come to this premiere?" And then mm. I met him there. What's and, he, what, what was he like? Friendly and 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 busy because it was a premiere. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, that Nathan for you has very similar vibes to a lot of your content. Yeah, I've seen YouTube clips for sure where he's just like really awkward but it's like <laughs> it's like awkward in a way where he's like putting himself in a situation mm -hmm. and then just like dealing with it you yeah know? and that's i feel like a lot of your content is kind of just like all right and you just do it and yeah. it's sort of a situation that most people would probably be also awkward in but you just share it and it like is very like entertaining well I, yeah i like to put myself out of my comfort zone because mm -hmm. i think it's good and i i just like try and learn new things and and all th all that and and i'm just naturally a little bit more nervous with some situations but i think that that's the helpful thing about like i was talking about the downsides of having an audience as it makes you think about like the content version of things but the good thing too is that then you can put yourself out there more because if you do it if you like fail that can be helpful for other people to see mm -hmm. and so then you still win yeah at, at, on one level if you're like i'm gonna make myself go to this party like I hosted this party, had people come over. I was like, I'm just going to try and talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. And that's awkward <laughs> for me. But <laughs> I was like, I'll, tr I'll try it because then yeah. it can it, it's help help people. Too. Right. Yeah. Right. And you, did you film all that? Yeah. It's just called How to Enjoy a Party. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's such a good. That's so genius. <laughs> that's, that's such a funny idea. Because, yeah, I'm not someone who's, like, a natural... Like, you threw a good party. I've only been to one party you threw, but it was good. You just have to get people drunk, and then it's mm. easy. <laughs> and, and you just had a lot of drugs. food there and talk, stuff. Talking, mm. to, talking to drunk people is easy. <laughs> you were sober and everyone else. I don't think I was sober at that party. <laughs> get yourself drunk and them drunk. Yeah, yeah. Was that the one with the Chipotle? Yeah. Yeah, or oh, maybe. Yeah. There was, yeah, there was the one where, where Peter, was, was, Peter was flying the, the Roomba oh, with like, yeah. the jet turbine strapped to it. Well, you were the there because I was there. I At didn't... the one with Chipotle, yeah. <laughs> I guess I didn't ever see you there. That was, there was like a bracelet you had to scan to get in. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. then I we was not there. Up. No, the, dude, this is like the craziest party we ever threw. I think like even Jacksepticeye would just show oh, up. Oh, yeah. Well, you didn't. You needed a bracelet? We made people sign liability waivers. When was this? That was a Christmas And there was like, was that the one I... I, I didn't sign a liability arm. waiver. Yeah, I think so. I like I broke your card. Maybe they trust I, I, That was like the Christmas four one. Models to the party too, and I that was that was one I tried to invite yeah. Grandma Hard to. Yeah, yeah. So who's, it was like, who's that? Uh, he he was a MythBuster, and he wow. passed away recently, oh, I mean, a okay. couple years ago. But like, I never thought that he would ever even respond to. He it did cool. though. He did say he was and too busy. Yeah, I asked him, and he was so very very Grant, nice in his response. I invited a bunch of women because I thought it would impress them. That's true. Oh, kind of worked. People like. Do you do you know party shirt, party shirt party the TikToker? Shirt. 
they party shirt. Maybe y'all would like them because they try a different experiment. Like they'll take a viral TikTok and then try it out. But people sometimes say that they're like MythBusters, but oh, they're, they're not but as like science minded as y'all. I think I think I've seen some of theirs. They do actually. Factor Cap. Yeah. Yes. 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 I've seen those. Yeah. yeah. That's probably like the best sort of modern like day take on that. True. Because it's like you like I almost do wonder sometimes about sort of like you know what you would do to make the idea behind Mythbusters, like the basic idea work like today. Nowadays, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do y'all want people who are Gen Z to watch this show or listen? I... Like, do, you ha- do you have to think about that? Like I have to talk about this topic more or do you just think like, no, just like science and listen. We just sort of talk about taxes and editing software and that really well, kids really like that. Gen- <laughs> kid, kid, kids like editing there's software. like one guy who's like <laughs> i like it when you talk about that stuff you know real estate are you gonna edit market. that part out <laughs> no you don't edit anything out we i mean we do usually not not unless you say something really bad like oh and that's when you bring back the old sound effect oh i'm not saying oh you're gonna bleep it anyway, though. <laughs> Wait, why is that so oh, bad? I just realized to say? we can do that. We can make it sound like a Because yeah. yes. okay. it's like a. Ch- oh. 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 I like Whenever I said it, I didn't know what it meant. Oh. So. <laughs> no, you, but, but you never said it. I he said did. It he time. did say no, it in the beginning. Because it got bleeped. Oh, yeah. you're right. Yeah, oh, we, never, we never actually say yeah, it I didn't anymore. Say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can just say as much as we want. Yeah, no. I mean, you can say but arbitrary then you get, you get things. Alan like noises instead. That's worse. <laughs> What's something crazy that we could do right oh, now? Right now, throw some of your puppets. Ooh, yeah. Throw oh, some. Yeah. You want to just throw them at the walls and everything? Yeah, fingers. go crazy. We don't eat them now. Have you ever no, seen no. <laughs> <laughs> go shoot it at your neighbor's house. Oh, it's gonna be loud. You can just. It's not that loud. You can just snap them. It makes a mess. Don't, 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 what? don't, don't snap it. Oh, that was, I thought it was that way louder. louder. Yeah, I thought I thought it would reverberate more. <laughs> Did any of y'all act uh, poorly? I think yeah. yeah, I think everyone's capable. <laughs> I kind yeah. of like Nigel's gonna cameo on Rick and Morty. Whoa, uh, you guys are yes. you, guys, you guys are pushing that so hard. <laughs> cool. Are you? Are you <laughs> no, really? It's, no, they're just saying I am. We're Justin gonna Moreland make it happen. He's a fan of Nigel. Really? We're gonna make yeah. it happen. So Alan and he, Will are just. He's pushing. a fan of my friend, also Joel Haver. Oh. He's, so, uh, the, he, the, uh, he's a he's a he's a good YouTuber. The interpolated animation guy. And Justin mm. Roiland likes him a lot. He's in one of his videos. So maybe really? y'all should both be in a Rick and Morty episode. Mm. Yeah. I'm not the one suggesting. I I hundred percent. There's a hundred percent. That they could so easily do a Nyrin. Like, mm-hmm. so easy. Maybe you should just make a Rick and Morty themed video soon. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Re- remake Sheshman's <laughs> Just even do a demo. A Turning. Demo. Um, what's do a, a, do a demo show? reel of some voices uh, you can do. I don't know, it's gotta be That's something true. like worse. Come. Like, yeah. <laughs> Do you do voices? Turn Szechuan sauce into I could probably do some. <laughs> do do like a funny way. voice. There's always no, a way to not turn now. Into okay. <laughs> what are you doing? On my demo reel. I'll okay. Do it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm making a demo reel apparently now. For who? Uh, I say to put together a demo of reel. Your voice acting. Yeah. yeah, my voice acting. It pays well. So I think you just have to do. Me. Oh, we talking for Rick and Morty? Yeah. Or anything you just else. honestly, all they need is like I think like. I just send them a link to my YouTube channel. <laughs> like a like a 10 second cameo where you're literally yeah. just somehow doing chem like there's a chemist yeah. in the universe yeah. who's like doing chemistry. Some alien. Yeah. And I get shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like. And then Rick says he doesn't like it. Makes him uncomfortable when there's people smarter than him in the room. Yeah, <laughs> you. And they specifically call him Nile Red on yeah. the TV show. And that oh no, cool. no, the, he like bleeds and it's red and it's oh, like yeah. and it it's forms like, a little river. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it makes the logo yeah. really <laughs> big on the planet. The Nile Red logo. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Justin, just uh, DM uh, Nigel and also Dex. Dex would be cool on on Rick and Morty. Just, Let's get hey, everyone on Rick and Morty. I don't, I don't think Alan and I would be good for Rick and Morty. <laughs> Maybe you'd do a scene real quick between the two of you where you tell Will that my lips like, are so luscious. No, no, that you have. It has to be serious. Like, okay. like not. Well, like you could do a flirting one next, but like do something. <laughs> do something where you're like, I got some bad news. Like, um, uh, all right, we gotta yeah. put our dog down. Okay. okay. Tell, tell and then me. Will, you don't know that oh, yet, no. but y'all are okay. roommates and y'all have a dog. Oh, okay. I like this. All right. And then, but just like try your best to do good at good at it, and yeah. maybe you can take your hat off. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't fit the role. It's 
No, no, keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. I think it's good. So, so now wait, I, I, oh, so oh, you go first. You go first. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog just okay. died. Why are you what? laughing? Two seconds. So basically, like you're That's like actually pretty real. You already. <laughs> I feel like if Al told me his dog died, he probably would freaking laugh. You already said sit down. I need to talk to you about something. So now you are. Now it's, you say okay. the next thing, and he's, um, you could say what is it? Yeah, you say action. Action. And I know that you love Sparky very much. Yeah. But um, he didn't make it. Make it where? <laughs> Bro, I was gonna see from, from out that, under the car. <laughs> that was good, but I I feel like I have I also have bad news. Yeah, <laughs> we're out of ketchup. <laughs> You're actually almost crying. No, you literally you have tears. I wanted to kill Sparky. <laughs> I, I, I zoom, zoom in on the camera. I, That's why. I can't believe someone <laughs> took that from me. <laughs> someone else got the prize of my friend's cute little. Boy. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think we'd be fired immediately. <laughs> he is crying. Look, he's in the role. Yeah, no, it's. <laughs> Now, um, y'all two do the same scene. Wait, who? Us? Yeah, uh, yeah. Alan and Alan oh, and you. Okay. And then Will should do okay. it with you. I can't. Okay. I'll be so sparky. <laughs> actually, actually, say, like, you have big news that you got the audition, but he's going to be runner-up for it. So it's kind of like like y'all both auditioned, and y'all are pretending oh. like you're both happy for each other because you both helped do the I, self-tape. I think I don't. Okay, I d- okay. I've never done an audition, so I can't really put myself in that character. That's like oh, what you got to do, though. That's, that's called that's acting. acting. Yeah, but the dog dying well, is, like, unfair. Cause like, well, okay, but have you ever related to uh, missing out on an opportunity? No, I've gotten every opportunity. No. <laughs> wow. yeah. So that's what you have to do. You have to pretend. Okay, let's just do a kissing scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw this. Let's get to the real That's stuff. Really Why are you moving away from me? I'm not. <laughs> they're, not they're not paying you to stay. I'm just not moving towards you. <laughs> so, so y'all helped each other do a self-tape audition, and okay. y'all are both like, yeah, good luck, so we, bro. And right, then I'm going okay. to act like I just got y'all, like the email. Y'all both really want it. It's yeah. for a big animator, but we won't say Rick and Morty. But just <laughs> <laughs> We're both like yeah. <laughs> So... So say like yeah, say like y'all are watching TV and then you really like, get a ding on your phone. Okay, action. I, sorry, I'm already laughing and I'm just Don't laugh. This is serious. Okay, I have to be serious. Okay, you're watching TV. Ding. Thomas. Sorry. Thomas. Sorry, I'm <laughs> laughing so much at the TV show. It's so funny. Dude, I'm sorry. I have to just wait. The funny scene okay, has not wait. done yet. Dude, Start I, over. I got it. Start over. Start yeah. over. Because you, you that is, this is, I swear to God, I think I know how Adult Swim made all their shows. Because that's exactly what I would imagine as a character saying, I can't talk right now because this very funny scene in this television show is going on. Okay, so we're getting a character. Okay, we're going to watch TV. The that's TV the TV. That's okay. that's the TV. Okay, that's the TV. That's the TV. <laughs> so just, just the so camera. The I can't stare into the, the camera. At home, they don't know the TV right now is oh, a is painting there. of Above a peacock. It. Okay. Oh, is that what that is? It's a, yes. Why it's does a it got peacock? a star on it? Because it's like a cool peacock, like a say, metal. Say peacock. action, so they stop. Right. Action. <laughs> it's a funny TV show. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that though. Just be like, I love when that happens. <laughs> I love it when Rick says that on Rick and Morty. <laughs> Well, don't say that either. You don't have to. Ex- you don't have to explain it. Just be natural. Just be natural, Alan. We're just hanging out. Okay, start over. Action. <laughs> okay, wait. Can he be the one who gets the good news? Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. So I'll be the salt. I'll make get the, the good news. Yeah. All right. All right. And what am I supposed to do again? Service the scenario. You want to? You got the job that y'all both wanted. Oh. Action. This is so unprofessional. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when that happens. Why are y'all... Okay. I love it. This is a disaster. You guys suck at this. You were laughing the whole time. Yeah, but I, at least I like... This show is so funny. This is such a funny show. Okay, you get the message now. Okay, I got the message. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, Will. Oh, no, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, 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 no, My no, acting career depends decorum. on this. Will's ready to step Count in if one of y'all throw it. No, we're it's, good. We got no, it's good, this. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> okay, three, two, one, go. Bloop, bloop. Okay, <laughs> Alan's out. 
Why are you laughing already? I don't know. This is embarrassing. You got the this phone noise. This is these yeah, people run YouTube channels with multi-million subscribers, <laughs> and they can't even pretend no, like no, they're getting a text message. It, it. No, you're gonna do it with you're gonna do it with Will, and then watch Will yeah, well does it. Okay, okay, and then okay, you, okay. you can step into the next okay, scene. Okay. So, um, ready. Okay. And Will, you're just watching. Y'all both want this role, and then he's gonna. Action! You're, he's well. You're gonna. You're gonna get the message. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Action. We're gonna make out or what? <laughs> maybe. Maybe after. But first sight. I, there's something I have to tell you. What? So the dog. I, <laughs> the dog didn't die again, did it? No. That something that, worse. That dog's gone. Uh, do you know that role that we like? Both worked yeah. really hard for. For being um, Rick Sanchez on Rick and Morty. Now that Justin Rowland retired. Um, I'm gonna. <laughs> I didn't hear that. I'm just like <laughs> too wrapped up in this message. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna have to tell you how it goes. You got the job. I mean, in other words, yeah. You, I didn't get the yeah, job. That's the... Oh shit! Can we make out now? <laughs> I mean, if you're okay. We'll okay, finish. now let's we'll let. That camera. <laughs> I got the big hat. <laughs> 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 I don't like this. How was that? That was, yeah. good. That was bad, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Podcast. Thanks for having me. <laughs>